going to Legion Azure here, like always. I am a little late, like a week or so. I didn't really plan on doing it, but I just had it, you know, in my list, and I thought, yeah, fuck it, why not? Um, Bad Boys, you know, three, pretty much. Bad Boys for Life. Uh, I kind of like Scott. There's a lot of people that were on Twitch and stuff like that that I've heard going, oh my God, did you see the new trailer? Oh my God, did you see? And I'm like, really? Like, come on, guys. Like, I was almost a teenager when these movies came out, roughly. And they were good then. They were entertaining. But, like, come on. It is what it is. And the fact that people were, like, going really nuts about it, I'm like, hey, man, I've always been a fan of the movies, like, as and accepted them for what they were. This was like, this is like Fast and the Furious, but if you like look at the cops' perspective, right? That's that's kind of what this reminds me of, like a little bit of uh, uh, like the little bit of James Bondy kind of bullshit going on, like the whole renegade doing whatever it takes thing with some crazy villain, or more like more like Mission Impossible, because uh, that th- those movies are a joke. But uh, yeah, and so I I knew what these movies were, and I liked it, but it was really weird to hear other people liking this and like remembering it fondly because I never knew a lot of people there's just a few boys when I was like you know a kid that liked these movies it wasn't anything crazy like I, I just found it weird I just so happened to have it so I'm like you know what fuck it I'm gonna react to it just for the sake of because I'm interested and I'm curious so let's go let's get into it check it out see what it's all about let's hope it's good one last time <laughs> Always a fucking car. Will looking fucking fly as ever. Hey! Oh shit. Martin being as oh. fat as ever. Come on, man. You can get that buffed out. No, you can get that buffed out. He definitely has a little something right here. Man. Knock and talk. Yeah. Knock knock. <laughs> Miami PD, get down! What the hell happened to knock and talk? Hands behind your head right now. I got this. I'm gonna penetrate this man's soul with my heart. What? Watch and learn. Sir, I realize that you're scared. You know, sometimes fear. How deep you think you got in his soul? I like that Will has always been this kind of done, Mike. off I'm cop retired. of the show. Uh-oh, here we go again. You want your legacy to be muscle shirts and body counts? <laughs> Yeah, Look at this mess! He's carnage! He's I didn't do all this. You didn't shoot anybody? <laughs> well, come on, Cap. You know I shot some people. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Bad boys. Blue <laughs> streets. I never trusted anybody all right. but you. It's a good trailer. Asking, man. Bad boys. One last time. One last time. I'm the definition of half man, half drugs, ass to clubs, bad boy, that's what's up. He's trying to do a all. We're not just black, we're cops too. We'll pull ourselves over later. <laughs> it's official. I, I like Will's always been, been that pro cop. about the glasses. I've been telling your ass for a year. He can't be stopped now. Shit, Mike. These are like HD. Cause it's bad boy for life. He ain't going nowhere. Damn. I just... bad boy for life. Bad boys, bad boy. Hey, what she gonna do? do? What, what she gonna, gonna do when we come in? Hey, 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 hey uh uh-uh. no, no, uh, no, never. Y'all will never do that again. Yeah, and you fucking up the lyrics, which take a long time to learn. Cause it's bad boy Was that a Vanessa Hudgens in there? I don't know if that was Vanessa Hudgens or not. Um, <laughs> oh, that was good, dude. That was really fucking good. Um, I, I actually got the first two movies before I even knew this was coming out weirdly enough I was like I want to watch those movies and then I didn't and I was just like oh okay you know whatever but oh dude just hearing the stuff the guy uh, I don't know the, the Russian dude the one that played Lucifer and um, Constantine with uh, Keanu Reeves I love that dude that dude is a great just actor he's just a great character I love that Russian son bitch. He's so fucking awesome. He, he just he's one of my favorites, dude. He just has the look of just some badass 
fucking fuck. <laughs> you know, and he was in, I think, the first one. He was the main villain. No, maybe the second one. I can't. Yeah, I think it was the second one. Where he was the one that was on the lawn in that big old house, probably in Miami, because that's where these like all, you know, come from pretty much. And he was just out on the lawn. I remember like some sh- shots happened. It was been a long time. It's been over ten years uh, for that show for the for those movies. But oh man, it was. <laughs> they were good, man. It, this definitely brings back the nostalgia. But I, I like how they were both kind of like the fuck up cops, but Will was always kind of like the. Uh, like the bro, look at me, I'm so attractive and this and that. And Martin's character was always the, you know, kind of like the the little gremlin dude next to tall, big Will, big Willie. You know, because like Will Smith is always considered to be kind of a vanilla dude, like IRL, right? He's just kind of like, people sleep on him and stuff like that. Um, I think it was like his ex-wife actually did an interview and saying that, now he's like super thug, like, don't let the persona... The, inter- uh, the internet, the uh, Hollywood persona fool you. That dude is a bad mother. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Like, you, you know, if you're speaking facts, okay, I get you. Sure. You know, because I remember, like, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, dude, he wasn't just this, like, he wasn't the Carlton, dude. He was, like, he was who he was. And it was only uh, maybe the... Um, the Hollywood pretty boy lifestyle. He was never the pretty boy, but he, you know, you don't want to be in, you want to be in the Hollywood lane, lane, not, not whoever you are lane. Right. And you got like the, um, the Brad Pitts and stuff like that, that never really spoke out against certain things or, or left their lane. They always were like, yeah, I, I may not be the greatest actor. I, I'm, you know, they're decent, you know, George Clooney and stuff like that. Um, but they definitely had the look, the aura, and the Hollywood just kind of being cast for every movie. And to be in those movies, you can't really, you got to play the game. I'm sure that they knew people, directors, and CEOs of, of companies that, that make movies that have done horrible things. Um, and they just never said it. They kept their mouth shut. They played the game. And they never spoke about anything, you know, politics or anything else. They played, they were in that lane. And I think Will was definitely in that lane for a while, and then he went to Scientology. And that changes things a lot, too. So it was always kind of... It's cool to see Will play this character. Martin Lawrence is always... He was like the funny little troll uh, kind of guy, but he's also the, the the fuck up. It was just Will... Like, what, wasn't it Bad Boys that said... Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. It was fucking Men in Black where he said, I make this look good, right? And that's pretty much what Will's character is in this, is that they both fuck up, but Will makes it look good, R- right? Yeah, so it, it is what it is, and they're really good movies. So, but with that, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna stop rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. See whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.